Hi you guys, it's your girl Kendra Moore and today I am going to show you how you can make a lip balm. Now, I love this lip balm recipe because it is nice and soft on your lips. It is moisturizing but not greasy and it lasts for a long time. Now this is actually um, the lip balm that I have on my website. If you are not a DIYer, but you want to enjoy all natural products on your skin, check out my website, more-life.com. That's M-O-O-R-E-life.com. And there you can find this very same lip balm. But if you are a DIYer and you want to give this a try, I am going to show you how to do it today. Super, super easy. So you're going to need a few ingredients and supplies. First, let's talk about the supplies, the lip balm container. I like using these little metal tins here because it's just easy to throw in your purse, carry around, recyclable. Um, you can also find the lip balm tubes, empty tubes at your online stores. You can use that as well. All right, so I have my measuring spoons here. You're really going to need a tablespoon with some variation between one tablespoon, half a tablespoon. You know, I also have a teaspoon um, here as well. Then you're going to need a container that you're going to put all of your ingredients in and you're going to use a double broiler. So that means you're going to melt these ingredients together on the stove. So you want to make sure that your container is set up for this. So for that, I have this glass container. All right. Now for my supplies. For my supplies, I'm going to use beeswax. Um, I have um, jojoba oil. Love jojoba oil. I am using cocoon butter. This is something that's optional for you to use um, if you like. I use it because cocoon butter is uh, really healing for the skin. And a lot of times when your, your um, lips are chapped, especially if you're someone and you battle with like frequent chapped lips, you want to have something that is healing, not just moisturizing. All right, and then I also have my coconut oil. You know, I use um, bulk because I make a lot of products, so I buy in bulk. And then you want to use shea butter. Now, you can substitute this recipe for like a different type of butter. If you like coconut butter, if you like mango butter, you know, just play around with the measurements because sometimes some butters are like have more, more oil in them, for example. So you may need less than what's called here, but experiment. That's the fun part of doing this stuff. All right, so now to get into the actual recipe. What you're going to do is you're going to have one tablespoon of beeswax. Now these are beeswax pellets here that I'm using and I'm putting them in my gas, in my glass container. And then two tablespoons of your shea butter. Now again, I buy my shea butter in bulk because I'm always doing a lot of product making. <laughs> but, um, and if you wanna use a different type of shea butter, you can, but I am going to use this. So two, I use organic refined shea butter. So I'm putting in two tablespoons in here. And then after I put in my tablespoons of shea butter, the next thing that I want to put in is my jojoba oil. Now you can also use um, like vitamin, like some kind of vitamin, maybe vitamin E oil or something like that. You can use that as well as an additive to this. So for my jojoba oil, I'm actually going to put in one tablespoon of jojoba oil. So let me put that in. So, so far we've done one tablespoon of beeswax, one tablespoon of jojoba oil, and two tablespoons of your shea butter. Now this is going to make enough for you and your family and friends, okay? So this is just not one batch. Um, we'll see how many, I have four containers laid out here. This may make a little bit more than four. All right, and then lastly, I'm going to add my cocoon butter. What cocoon butter here. Now, cocoon butter is a really hard butter to work with. This butter, I would say, is optional. So if you don't have it or you don't want to really have to worry about digging in this bad boy because you need to dig into it, it's a really hard butter, then don't worry about not using, um, not having cocoon butter. But I love it in my recipes, and I find my clients really um, can tell the difference 
and my lip balm. So I am putting in about a tablespoon of the cocoon butter. And now what I'm going to do is actually put this on the double broiler that you see back there. And the double broiler really is like your pot. I put water in it. It's enough water for when I set this container in. It comes about here on the container. And I'm just going to let that um, slowly heat up on like a medium type of heat and let it melt. Now, because of the power of doing this um, for you guys here, I actually started some already. And I'm just gonna bring that out so you can see what it looks like. And I'm gonna put this in and let that go ahead and slowly melt together. Now, this is actually what it is going to look like when it comes out. So you're going to have this beautiful liquid gold here, is what I call this, to pour this in here and just monitor it till it gets to the top and then go to the next one and pour this in here. You're gonna get a little bit of spillage, but not too much. And then this is my third one. So I had enough for three. All right. There we go. You see, I have this beautiful liquid gold in these tins. And see how I always set a napkin down because you're gonna have some spillage here when you try to do this. So you wanna make sure you, you know, just try to capture as much as you can. But you have this here, and now what I'm going to do is quickly top these up, put them in the refrigerator, and let them set. So I'm putting these in the refrigerator. If you don't refrigerate them and they cool at room temperature, what happens is, is that you'll get this kind of like gritty, um, the, the shea butter will become gritty. Um, it's just the way that it cools. It really needs to cool in the refrigerator at kind of like a faster cooler cooling rate than room temperature. So that's gonna sit in there for about 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes, you will have your lip balm. Hi, you guys. So now some time has passed and I'm going to show you the end result. Before I do, if you like learning about natural health and wellness DIYs and tips for your home care and personal care, hit the like, subscribe, follow button, um, and keep up with the latest videos that I put out. Now, here is our beautiful lip balm. So you can see it's nice, it's smooth, it'll go really well on your lips. You'll just, you know, use your finger like that, put it on your lips, and be ready to go. Um, you can also add essential oils to this mix as well, and that brings in an element of aromatherapy, which is always nice. So give this recipe a try. Try your variation of the recipe. That's what DIYing is all about. Um, and if you are not a DIY, but you want something natural for your lips that's nice, moisturizing, and healing, head over to my website, more-life.com, click on wellness products, and then you will see it there. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.